Hey everybody, I'm the Silver Fox, and welcome back to another video. Today, for every minute that passes by, the texture pack changes. So we're gonna go from looking like this to looking like this. But you're not gonna wanna miss the results, so stick around to the end, and if you enjoy, consider hitting the subscribe button. It's free. So the best course of action, I guess, is just take a look around and see what all the blocks look like. Like, obviously this is, you know, this is the double tall grass. Normal grass looks to be the same. Chickens look to be the same. Uh, I don't even know what kind of flower this is. Is that a cornflower and a dandelion? Oak leaves. Don't even get me started. Uh, this texture pack. This is... I mean, this is definitely a good texture pack if you want to have high frame rate. That's for sure. Um... But yeah, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. I mean, obviously, this is coal. Um, stone, dirt. There's not really much on this pack. It's kind of hard to distinguish what is what. But what, I, what I want you to do in the comments below is uh, let me know which of the texture packs you've seen in this video are your favorite. Uh Personally, I like the Faithful Texture Pack, but they could also just be because that's the texture pack I've used for the last 15 years or so. Uh, I believe I've been using it since 2000. Well, I guess it's not 15 years. Uh, <clears throat> I've, I've been using it since roughly around 2012, basically whenever it came out. I'm not sure the uh, exact date. So the, the 4x4 Texture Pack is making the game look a lot better. Uh, this is... This is what Minecraft should look like. This guy gets some food real quick. Instead of getting food, I just I went ahead and set the uh, set the difficulty to peaceful because this isn't really a survival video. This is more of a texture pack video and just seeing what it has to offer on each of the resolutions. This is the four x four pack. If you like this, comment four x four. The eight x texture pack. Now, uh, this one is. I mean, it's pretty similar to default textures. This is this is default with a little bit of spice. If you like the 8x8 pack and you gotten this far in the video, put 8x8 in the comments. And maybe others will agree with you. Maybe they like this pack too. And then you can bond and you can play uh, play some Minecraft together, make some new friends. Um, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and go back this way real quick. Let's just get some wood. I want to see what the crafting table looks like in this pack. I also want to see... Okay, that's... Yeah, well, the UI is a little messed up in this pack, but that's no problem. It's, you know, we can we can work with it. We can work with it. Uh, one, one log short. I need some more log. Let me just collect that real quick and then pop it up inside this crafting table like that. This cra the main crafting table seems to be okay. For the next pack, we're jumping right up to Faithful 32X. Uh, the reason why I'm skipping out on 16 is because I could not find one that was uh, that would work with 1.21. Now, uh, as much as I would like to show off the 1.16 pack, as that one is basically, you know, it's more or less the same as the 8x8 pack, just a little bit more high resolution. I wasn't able to find it. I searched as hard as I possibly could. So, uh, how about for the 16x in the comments we put RIP? Just to, you know, let it know that we miss it and we wish it would come back to 1.21. Are y'all looking forward to the new update that is coming out? The 1.24, 1.22, I believe? Yeah, I believe it's the 1.22. It got showed off at uh, the Minecraft Live earlier today. It seemed to be pretty cool. Uh, I'm definitely going to be checking it out when it comes out. Moving on up to 64X. This one is the the pack that I've been using recently. Uh, it's high quality. It doesn't take, doesn't take away from performance too much. But all in all, it's still a good pack. Uh, it has some, yeah, a little bit, it has some issues here and there. Uh, it, it takes a little bit to get updated, but that's okay. The developer is hard at work. Uh, let's... You know what, in the comments, if you're getting this far, put a heart for the developer of the Faithful Texture Pack. I guess the game crashed. And just skip it right on over to Faithful 128. Uh, this pack, it, I mean, it's it's a little bit less realistic 
a little bit less realistic than the 64. Uh, hopefully, as we get higher, it looks better. Um, didn't really expect this pack to look like this, to be honest. I thought for sure if 64 looked how it did, that 128 would look the way it would look, you know, better than 64. Uh, but you know what? In the comments, if you're getting this far, type type I love creepers. Yeah, I love creepers because they they deserve love too. Even though they're scary creatures and they you know they sometimes destroy our builds, they're not meaning to. They're just trying to they they just want friends, but they're misunderstood. Now we're getting somewhere. This is the 256 pack. Um, obviously the 128 one. It probably had some issues because 256 is looking. I mean, it, it's still a little bit. It's still worse than 64 and 32. Uh, what is this crime city? Looks beautiful. I love it. It looks a little bit worse than the 64x, but you know, it's it's still a good pack. It's still it it, it it's still good in its own ways, right? 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 I mean, somebody has to love it, right? Please tell me somebody loves it, please. Um, let's see. Where should we go? Where should we adventure to? Let's see what's over here. Got a feeling like this spruce biome just continues. Gotta continue this way in 512. It's starting to get a little, uh... It's starting to look more realistic. Like you can only, you can almost tell that the trees are. You can almost see each individual leaf on the tree, which is nice. And the the grass is looking, grass is looking mighty fine, if I do say so myself. But we're gonna continue on this way. See what we can't find. I kind of, just, I'm kind of looking for a village. I'm curious to see what the villagers look like when we get to higher resolutions. And if you're curious about what the villagers look like, then in the comments, uh, go ahead and put... Mm, go ahead and put villager trading for life. Yeah. Villager trading for life. Because we all love to make good profits off the villagers, right? This is the 1024 pack, which means that we have two packs to go before we hit the very last pack. And basically making Minecraft look as good as it possibly can prior to uh, completely trashing my computer. Because I'm not trying to have it burned down on me. Um, let's see. For this pack... Uh, in the comments, put uh, put shear the sheep. Hashtag shear the sheep. Yeah. Because, you know, as much as we love sheep, unfortunately, we have to take their wool in order to make beds. Because without beds, you wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Without being able to sleep at night, you're never able to save your location. Uh, all the baddies would get you. Let's go ahead and see what's inside this chest. Prior to switching over to the very last pack. This is our very last resource pack. And boy oh boy. It was hard to get this one set up. This crashed my system multiple times. So hopefully it doesn't do it while I'm, I'm in the process of recording. Um, now all the texture packs that were used in this video are faithful texture packs. Um, not all of them are updated to 1.21, which is why some of them aren't working as well as others. Um, if you want to see a follow-up to this video where I try other resource packs, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if that's all I got. I'll see you all in the next video. As I said before, if you like it, consider subscribing. Bye.